Tectonic Shift Shaping the Future with Innovation So let's start with the most important question right away. What exactly is Docker? Well, Docker in the end is a container technology. It's a tool for creating and managing containers. Okay, so that clearly is a nice sentence, but what exactly does it mean? What's a container in software development and why might we want to use it? Well, a container in software development is a standardized unit of software, which basically means it's a package of code and more importantly, the dependencies and tools required to run that code. So for example, if you are building a Node.js application, Node.js is a JavaScript runtime which could be used to execute JavaScript code on a server. If you had such an application with the container built with Docker, you could have your application source code in that container as well as the Node.js runtime and any other tools that might be needed to run that code. And the advantage is that the same container with the same Node.js code and the same Node.js tool, so the same Node.js runtime with always the same version, and that's the key thing, will always give you the exact same behavior and result. There are no surprises because it's all baked into the container. It's always the same, but maybe it's even easier to understand this concept if we take a step back. Think about a picnic basket. A picnic basket contains everything you need to have. Well, a picnic dinner in the park, something like this. It contains the food, it contains the dishes which you need and therefore you can take that basket and take it everywhere where you want to have that picnic and you are ready to go. You have it all in that basket and you can also share that basket with a friend and that friend can have that same picnic you would have had Otherwise, there are no surprises. You have the dishes and the food. You don't have to look for dishes at the place where you want to eat. And maybe then you have soup with you. Might be strange with a picnic, but whatever. And then you don't have the dishes for eating soup. If you pack your own picnic basket and it's all in there. And that's the idea behind the picnic basket. It's the same idea behind containers and Docker, which is just a tool for creating and managing these containers. Now the term container might be strange at first because if you hear about a container you might think about something like this. At least that is what I know as a container. But actually it's not a bad comparison. This is a container we would load onto ships or trucks to move goods around. Well and it's the same idea as with docker or container still. We have standardized containers here like this and we can fit various goods into these containers but they are then self-contained and isolated. The goods in one container don't get mixed with goods from another container. If you need something like coding, it can be built into the container and therefore the container works standalone. And it can be put onto any ship, any truck which is able to handle containers. And that's exactly the same with Docker containers. We have our units of software, our packages with code and with the dependencies to run this code. And we can then take it anywhere where Docker runs. And we will then be able to run exactly the same application with the same environment wherever that is. We don't need to worry about installing any extra tools in that place where we want to run our application because it's all in the container. That is what containers are and that is what Docker is about because Docker is just the tool for building these containers. Now the good thing is that support for containers is built into modern operating systems or at least there's it's easy to get started with them. And Docker can be installed on all modern operating systems to then work with it there. And Docker then in the end is a tool that simplifies the creation and management process of these containers. You wouldn't need it to create containers, but it's the de facto standard for doing that since it makes that task so super simple. Thank you for watching this video and welcome to this Docker podcast yeah. where we explore every facet of Docker and containerization. Our focus is to equip you with in-depth understanding and expertise in this transformative technology 
Join us on this enlightening journey as we unravel the world of talker, empowering you with the knowledge and tools to revolutionize your approach to application development and deployment. Together, let's embark on the path to becoming Docker Masters. Mm.